Hi everyone. Welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Nail Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to be doing a general reading for Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Okay. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. And bear in mind it is a general reading. Um, if you want a personal reading, you can get in contact with me through my email in the description box below. Um, yeah, and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if, if you um, if you like the video, okay? All right. Scorpio, I'm going to take a look on what's going on with your person. And then we'll get into you, Scorpio, okay? All right. I'm getting a lot of conflicted energy here. You know, I've got two songs going through my head that don't make any sense. One of them is Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. And the other one is Justin B Bieber's You Can Go and... I don't know if you want to use love or F yourself, whichever one, okay? All right, so there's a lot of conflicted energy here, okay? All right. What's going on with Scorpio's person? We have the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> oh God, my throat chakra is blocked. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. All right. That that to me is making a lot of sense right now. Okay. You know, Scorpio, your person is is uh, is trapped, okay? Not only mentally, but physically. And I kind of feel like they're trying to control some sort of behaviour that they've been in, Scorpio, okay? A bit of a toxic behaviour that they've been in. I do feel that they, they want to communicate with you and then they don't, okay? Because they get in their head about, you know the direction that they have to take and I, I kind of feel Scorpio that even though that this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you there is somebody that stands in their way all right with the queen of swords energy here you know but they do want to communicate with you but I feel like they're a little bit afraid of of um, doing that Scorpio okay but they do think of you a lot. They think of you a lot and they, they think of the love that you shared between each other and they do regret um, their actions towards you, Scorpio. Um, you know, but they're trying to control a situation and, you know, hopefully you're just going to move on from that situation, Scorpio. Yeah, they kind of know that they um, that they placed a heavy burden on you, Scorpio. Even though you were the wish fulfillment, there was a lot of interference in this relationship, okay? Now, I don't feel there's much communication that is going on between you and this person right now uh, because they're at a crossroad, okay? All right, let me go a little bit intuitively on this, Scorpio. I kind of feel, Scorpio, that this person really does want to be in a relationship with you. But at the same time that they they want to be in a relationship with you, they want to, they want their freedom. But I can tell you that they are committed to, um, to somebody else, that they are totally emotionally... Um, they're not emotionally connected to this person at all, Scorpio, okay? Um, I feel like that they are with this person because of financial stability, um, but this person is very much, very much controlling, um, you know, this situation. So I feel like this person is just um, doing whatever they want. They're doing whatever they want, but they're doing it in, in a sort of like a sly way. And that's why we've got the devil um, right from the beginning, okay? They're doing it in a sly way because this person um, 
even though they're in this relationship, they want to be loved. They want to be loved. And I feel, Scorpio, that you gave them a lot of love. You gave them a lot of attention, a lot of love. You know, that you were very protective over this person, that you were um, very much can see a future with them, even though that you knew that you were limited um, to how far you could go with this person, okay? Um, but I kind of feel like this person wanted their freedom. They felt that they um, were... It's it, not that they felt controlled, but they were like, you know, having to be with this partner and then having to be with you. And then, you know, everybody else was seeking their attention also. And, um, you know, I think you, with your intuition, you pretty much guarded yourself, Scorpio. And uh, you may have on purposely let this person go before they can really, really hurt you. Okay. Um, because even though you loved this person and you wanted to, you may have wanted a future with them. It was in your best interest to let this person go, be free, go do whatever you want. I know it's going to hurt me. I know it's going to hurt you, but I need to trust my intuition on this. And that's what you did, Scorpio. Okay. Um, so you are loving this person in, in silence from what I can see, Scorpio. All right. So what's going on with them? I kind of feel like they just want to heal. And so, so do you. You just want to heal from this situation, okay? And, you know, you and this person are very much a mirror image of each other. Very much. You both want the same thing, uh, but you're too scared to come together um, because you don't want to ruin or lose some sort of freedom that you have, okay? Um, but with you, Scorpio, it's like you don't like all these other people uh, interfering you know, you would be happy, just you and them, okay, and still have the freedom to go and come and do as you please, but, you know, to also do a lot of things together that you were unable to do in the past, all right? But what I feel, Scorpio, is that um, they do daydream about the, your connection, okay? Uh, you and this person are connected in so many ways, so many ways, okay? All right, I'm going to tell you a little bit about their partner. Their partner is a very cold person, okay? Their partner is very much two-faced. Their partner holds a lot of secrets, and their partner has the financial power, okay? And their partner also has a way of repeating patterns, okay? Th their partner is a person that I'm going to call sweet poison, okay? They do whatever they want. They organize everything. They make a lot of mistakes. They're flirty. They're charming. They're mistreated. They mistreat uh, your partner, okay? Because they're the bread breadwinner. I feel like they're the breadwinner. They own everything. They own the house. They own the car. They own everything. And they're the breadwinner. So, you know, it's either you do as, as you're told, like a child, because I feel like I've said this before, this person is treated as a child, okay? They're dealing with a very strong manipulator, okay? That emotionally, not only threatens them emotionally, but financially, okay? Um, so whenever this person does something, okay, and they get into an argument with this person and this person apologizes to them, well, they come back and they repeat the same pattern again, like half an hour later. Like, well, why are you telling me where I'm, why are you asking me where I'm going? I'll do whatever I want to do. You'd go do whatever you want to do. I don't stop you from doing what you want to do, but they do. They actually stop them, right? So they have a sense of control over um, your person, okay? But I'm going to tell you that your person is eventually going to break free. Right now, they're, they're, they don't want to show that they're in an abusive. They're actually in an abusive situation, okay? And they're quite embarrassed about being in this abusive situation, right? And so they may take a lot out on you, Scorpio, instead of taking it out on their partner, okay? And uh, you had enough of this. You had enough of being treated the way... Uh, that you were treated when all you did was love and care for this person. So I feel like eventually they will leave. They will leave. But they're in conflict, Scorpio, on whether to to come back to you or whether to just be free and do whatever they want. All right, Scorpio. Okay. 
um, you know, I kind of feel like for you, Scorpio, that you have a lot of success and new beginnings coming your way and you are going to meet somebody new, you know, and this is, this person may lose out on you, Scorpio, because, um, you know, they love you, but they're not looking at you. So, so here we go, Scorpio. We have the King of Pentacles, somebody that, that is very much um, in charge of uh, their home, their kingdom, their uh, everything else, okay, that they have. Very controlling about their, I can't even pick that up, but, but Scorpio, it's almost like this person is so cold, okay. Uh, even in the bedroom, they're very cold to this person. They, they sleep like they're on ice. But this person misses the connection between you and them, Scorpio. They miss the passion. They miss the happiness that you used to share. Things are not the same between you anymore. You know, they... Um, they haven't lost their passion for you, Scorpio. But, you know, it's... It's a matter of them finding their strength to, to deal with a lot of things, Scorpio. But you and this person are very much a mirror image of you. I wish I showed you the... <laughs> I can't pick them up. Okay, you and this person are very much a mirror image of each other. All right? You know, you are the twin flame and the soulmate to, to, to this person. But they're, they're in fear right now. But... They're in fear of leaving where they are, but they will eventually, they will eventually just leave Scorpio, okay? Because this woman constantly keeps repeating a pattern with them, all right? But because you don't know this Scorpio, because you don't know what is going on, you're feeling that uh, everything I just said relates to this person that you're dealing with or was dealing with. Everything I said seems to be related to them. The red flags, the charming, the flirting, the uh, mistreating people, the, you know, come and go whenever they, they please. I'm going to tell you something. It's actually their partner that does this. And that's why, you know, you, you're feeling it. Maybe you're an empath, Scorpio. Maybe you're feeling you know, what the partner is actually doing, but not what this person is actually doing. This person may be literally actually just working, but their work involves meeting other people, okay? I'm not going to deny the fact that there's a little bit of uh, e ego and flamboyant way and a um, bit of a, a sleaze bucket is what I'm going to say. I'm not denying that, okay? But that's because they don't have love. There's, there's no love in their life, okay? And they're too scared to connect to, to uh, somebody that is actually genuine like you, Scorpio, that, that does give love and time and attention, you know, and, and very much wants to give a person, you know, their cup of love, okay? And wants to have some sort of financial, um, no, it doesn't have to be financial, but blessings, but I feel too, Scorpio, that you are on your way to success, all right? And while this person is being gone out of your life, Scorpio, there is somebody that is going to gravitate your way, all right? Somebody that wants to take, you know, start a connection with you and move things forward, you know? But you keep looking back on this person and thinking, when are you going to leave? When are you going to leave? I really want to be with you. I don't... I don't want to be with other people, okay? I, I really want to be with you, but this person is taking their sweet time to leave this relationship. And now you're starting to think, well, okay, they may leave, but they may not come towards me. So maybe I should take a leap of faith and go in a different direction with somebody else, okay? Because I feel like you've waited long enough, Scorpio. You've waited uh, a long period of time for this person, but they are dealing with somebody who um, is just so cold towards them and, um, you know, is treating them like a child and treating them like, you know, well, I own this, I own the car, I own the house, I own everything, okay? And I even own you. This person thinks that they own your person, okay? Okay. And they, they are being treated like shit. Like, you know, it's it's a constant battle in this household, right? 
but your person is going to transform. They will eventually start communicating with you, okay? Your conversations right now seem very distant, okay? Um, and I kind of feel that um, Yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel like you know, you you just want to focus on on you. You just want to focus now on your success and your happiness and, um, you know, and moving forward. Okay, because I I feel um with a lot of you Scorpios watching this video today is is going to make a lot of sense to you that yes, your person has this personality and this um, way of drawing other people to them. Okay. But really, at the end of the day, they just want to be loved by one person. They want to come home. They want to feel this love at home. You know, they want to have this connection, you know, and they want they want uh, somebody who is in love with them that that sexual connection is not going to die. And that is you, Scorpio. That is you. You will never kill that sexual connection. No way. You won't allow it. You won't allow it, okay? Um, but at the same time, Scorpio, it's this person is... Uh, I'm caught in a trap. Mm. I can't hold up. Yeah, they love you too much, baby. They really do, okay? But this person will eventually make a decision, okay? And this decision does involve you, Scorpio, because this person is from your past. Somebody who loves you very, very much, Scorpio, okay? And, um, you know, maybe they will finally decide to put a lot of hard work and effort into this Scorpio and you know they're not there's no more tower moments between you and this person if they come in correct they they will have the best the best life the best love the best connection that they could uh, ever have all right uh, but this person you know also um, has taken on the energy of the Queen of Swords who they may be dealing with and they're feeling, uh, you know, behaving a little bit cold towards you, but they will drop their guard towards you, Scorpio. Um, they they do think of the fond memories that you had, the good times. They do understand that other people got in the way and it caused you to, to take a different direction, Scorpio, you know. Um, but this is a lesson, Scorpio, because your spirit guides may have stepped in and may have... Um, removed you two from each other because you two need to understand the reasons why you come together okay um and i do feel scorpio that uh yes there has been a lot of interference a lot of um i don't know what's the word uh temptation i'm gonna say for the for this person um but i feel like that they are trying to control all that all right so i feel scorpio that you are very guarded right now all right um, but you are coming in as, you know, balance being restored. You've got new love that is coming into your life. But you are emotionally still trapped to this person. Like there's still a connection there between you and this person. Even though I feel like there's no conversation, you two miss each other. And I'm telling you, Scorpio, that eventually one day this person, and I don't know when, you know, but I'm getting the feeling next year sometime um, is going to come in and put a lot of hard work and effort with you and, and wants to help you and wants to support you and wants to work with you, Scorpio, okay? Because um, I feel like they'll be in a better position in about eight months' time. They'll be in a very, very good position in eight months' time and then they will look at this and review this, okay, because we have judgment. Um... Well, it could be eight eight months from the time that you guys separated, and not not in eight months' time, okay? Or or by the eighth month, which is what August, that they will communicate with you again, Scorpio, and they may, you know, decide to put the work in, even though that they know that you're guarded. They want to bring in the balance. They want a new beginning, okay? They are still trapped to their that that woman. They are still trapped, but they're going to release themselves, okay? They see you as the empress and, um, you know, they have a lot of regrets. They have a lot of regrets. They, they, they remember the day it all went down, okay? They remember the day that, that you know, 
they they decided to to leave this situation or you left this situation they think about you when you walked away scorpio okay um but i got a funny feeling this person left you at a time that you really needed them and this is why it hurt it hurt so much scorpio but um you are healing from this situation scorpio and um you know the sun is going to shine again there is a new beginning coming in for you scorpio that does have the ten of cups someone who is going to love you someone who is going to be passionate a wish fulfillment okay scorpio um you're going to have a victory in this situation oh my god scorpio look at that look look at this Okay, if that's not all the love and passion that, and connection, the, you and this person are going to be living together, all right? Whatever you're wishing for, whatever they're wishing for is exactly the same wish, but when are you two going to realize that it's the two of you? But at the same time, Scorpio, you want this person to heal, you want this person to come back to you, you know, in a, in a true connection because you have a lot of love to offer, Scorpio, all right? Unfortunately, by the time this person comes back, you would have met somebody else, Scorpio. Um, but you are going in a position now of making a choice between two people, okay? And I do feel that you uh, will go for the one that you've been wishing for, Scorpio, okay? Because you know that's universally sent and guided towards you, right? You're going to know which one to choose, Scorpio. You will always go with your heart, okay? Um yeah you have a lot of desire for this person scorpio like there's something about your connection that either you may have had past lives together you may have um you know uh known each other for a long period of time through childhood um but scorpio i'm telling you now you can forget about what you see on social media you can forget about what you hear about this person okay um, you may have drawn your own conclusions to this person, but, you know, your intuition sits really high and you know there's been a lot of interference between you and this person, okay? And you, you're not going to let that go. You, you know that your intuition is correct. You know, you're trusting your gut, okay? Um, but Scorpio, I don't think you realize how bad it is in this person's household, how miserable they are okay how how much they have to put on up a, a good front because uh um, this person that they're connected to or married to or in a committed relationship to they own everything so they can lose a lot but they don't realize how much they're gonna gain scorpio okay um you know and i've had readings before where there's always a question about who owns the car there's something about a car who owns the car okay and i need you to focus now scorpio i need you to focus on on you and making yourself happy and going in in directions and just doing whatever you want and can right now with or without this person they will come back they will communicate with you scorpio but at the end of the day don't hang on to this don't hang on to this okay you need to live your life and then life will happen for you all right so I feel like, you know, right now that you're gravitating towards family, towards friends, um, you know, just creating happiness for, you, for yourself. And, and this person will eventually walk away from what this illusion is with this person, you know, this sweet poison, okay? Uh, you know, she does whatever she wants to do and yet she controls him financially she may have done spell work on him you know because he has this fear of walking away but i swear to god i swear to god scorpio if they come towards you you will give them the roof over their head you will help them you will you will be there you will love them and it, and it is a very much a true connection but this person needs to get out of their fears okay they're not going to lose friends. They're not going to lose anything. This is just a fear that this stupid woman thinks that she can control somebody to a point. And really, she's nothing. She is absolutely nothing without this man. And she knows it. She knows it. 
So, you know, if you, you're not going to speak up, Scorpio. You don't want to say anything to this person. But they have a lot of passion for you. And boy, what a hunk of a man. Look at that. So you can see why people are drawn to him. Um, but Scorpio, um, why am I getting, um, no, don't worry about it. Um, you and this person go way back, way back, past connections, recent connections. You're always in each other's lives through many, many cycles, many, many years in and out but you're always there Scorpio and I think that's what this man is going to realize soon that you're always there for them you you actually true do have the true love for this person that whatever's happening in their life is not allowing them to come near you Scorpio but just keep moving on right now let this person deal with whatever they have to deal with okay um Yeah, I don't know, Scorpio. I just um, can't get those two songs out of my head. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Maybe that's for your partner. Maybe that. Maybe that's for the, that song is for the man, not for you, okay? Because I feel like at first the, they were afraid, they were petrified, kept thinking they couldn't um, survive without this woman, okay? But then, you know, like the song goes, I spent so many nights just seeing how you did me wrong and I grew strong. And this person is now going to learn how to get along. But they're working on their finances, they're working hard and they will come towards you eventually, Scorpio, but, you know... You're very caring, you're very kind, you're very giving, and you will open your door to this person. I feel you will live together. Um, I'm, I'm getting a very strong sense, Scorpio, that uh, you may have moved, okay? And uh, the way that you moved, very unexpectedly, how everything just fell into place for you. Um, you didn't have to fight, you didn't have to fight for this place with another hundred people. It, it was just totally given to you and totally given to you for a reason, Scorpio. So stay where you are. Do not move out of this property right now, okay? It's It's been given to you for a reason. And, you know, in this property, you've been given a lot of freedom, a lot of space, a lot of, um, uh, you know, there's no restrictions for you on this property, okay? You're you're doing whatever you want. You can redecorate the whole place if you want to, okay? And you may not own it, but um, there's a sense of, like, I'm, I'm free to do whatever I want and nobody's in my way, all right? And this person will eventually gravitate towards you and there will be communication. I just feel right now the communication is a bit... It's hard, Scorpio. You you want to laugh, you want to joke, you want to talk to this person freely, but I kind of feel like they may have set boundaries with you for, for a reason right now. Okay, so just go with the flow and, you know, that's what your person is dealing with, even though that they're coming across as that en energy, they're actually dealing with that energy with the person that they're living with, Scorpio, but they just, they're too embarrassed it is, um, you know, usually we, think, we feel that it's the women that get abused. But uh, in this case, this is the man that's getting abused. And they're just too embarrassed to say. So have some compassion for this person, Scorpio, even though that you are very angry towards them. Just have some compassion, Scorpio, because they are in a very abusive situation here. All right, Scorpio, we'll talk again. See you next time. Bye for now.